Is Barack Obama a fraud? I'm an angry American just like you. And I want to make sure the government knows that it's government for people, not the other way around. This is the DWAG Report. Hello and welcome to the first DWAD Report. I'm your host, DWAD. Today is February the 2nd, 2010. And today is Groundhog's Day. And in Pennsylvania, the groundhog came out this morning and saw a shadow and ran back into his groundhog hole. So, that according to folklore, that means we will have six more weeks of winter. Now to the main point, is Barack Obama really a fraud? In 2008, he ran for hope and change. He got into office. Nothing changed. It just got worse. And many Americans lost hope after the stimulus package was passed again. Except a bigger amount. It didn't work the first time, so why'd we bother to do it again a second time with a bigger amount? And a lot of Americans lost hope because of that. So, so much for hope and change, Barack Obama. He promised hundreds of things which never happened. He promised to close Guantanamo Bay in January the 11th, 2009. And he promised it would be closed by January the 11th, 2010. It's February the 2nd, 2010, Mr. President. He also promised that gays will be in the military by 2010. The subject was never brought up in House or Senate in 2009 and it's just not being brought up about a month later after his State of the Union address. He also promised political unity and as you and I know no one can promise political unity because no party agrees with each other. No party. So as you can see, Obama puts more of his mouth than what he can chew. So can we trust Obama? Obama also preached of change that Americans could believe in. Now, if you can believe in socializing banks and socializing uh, the auto industry, if you believe in socializing many other jobs, then fine, go at it vote for him again, but I do not want the government to own our businesses, the people's business. If you think it's alright for him to say, hey, House of Representatives, hey, Senate, you're gonna vote yes and you ain't gonna vote no. You're gonna vote the way I want you to. Then go ahead and vote for him in two and if you believe that he has the right to tax everything, plus the state tax everything, plus your local area tax everything, then fine, vote for him. And if you want a president that blames everything on Bush, mm -mm, I don't want that. I don't blame it, everything on Bush. Yes, Bush has done some stupid things, so has Bill Clinton, so has George H.W. Bush, and there is the small effect of Ronald Reagan, and there's a bunch of things Carter did. There's some things that Ford did, and some things Richard Nixon did, and so on and so forth, which affect us still today. So here's my question to you. Do you think Obama's the right choice for this nation, or do you think he's a fraud? Please leave a comment at the bottom to tell me your views. You can also follow me now on Twitter, which will be at the corner of the screen. And please subscribe to the DWOD Report. Thank you for watching. Thank you.